<laughs> for what is Tamworth. Okay, it's my final few days in this uh, town here. I'm just um, driving around, heading off to see one of my uh, prospective clients. And uh, just take a look at that sun, that westering sun going down. Anyway, so um, uh, anyway, a couple of doors down from this place that I'm going to, I saw something which just, it just reminds me of how fundamentally disconnected is our culture from the basics of, of ecosystems and how so, so far are we away from having a sustainable society. Okay, so um, I'm just going to turn around, go back and show you this place. But basically it's a new house, it's a new build. I'm in this, I'm in this suburb. I think this is like a retirement village. This reminds me of Carlisle Gardens in um, Townsville. See, they've got, I'd say they're small houses. They're not small houses. They're, um, I'd say these are all independent living units, maybe. Or maybe it's just a new suburb or something. Maybe it's just a regular suburb, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to drive around. And uh, so, but anyway, look at the roof colours, okay? This place is hot as hell, okay? It's hot out here. And they've got dark roofs. And you see they've got no eaves. See, the, see the, the roof doesn't overhang that house much. And so you've got these big windows. So that window there is facing south, which is not such a problem. These windows here are facing uh, towards the east. So they'll be picking up morning sun, which is not necessarily a bad thing in the, um, in the winter. But just look at the colours of the roofs. You've got these, and okay, and so this one here's got a black roof, okay, and it's tile, okay? So black roofs absorb a ton of heat, and the tiles hold on to a lot of heat. Look, all the ecosystem has been eroded away to put a couple of fucking roses in. Jesus. Anyway, but there's this one thing I want to show you. I've got to go back to it, right? So, uh, let me just go back to it. These places are amazing. Look, another black roof. Sitting there, soaking up the heat. There's the sunshine in the west. Anyway, let me just get back to this other place. It's just, it's just fucking staggering. Okay, I want you to look at that place there. See, it's got a nice little lawn. Well, it's nice to know that there's a little lawn, isn't it? So at least there's a little bit. When the, when the rain comes down, right, there's somewhere at least that the rain can soak into the ground. It's not going to happen, obviously, in the... Um, uh, and look, there's a little creek. That's nice, a little sweet little creek thing. Beautifully landscaped. You see how, how heavily forested it is with riparian vegetation? Not. Okay, look, this guy's got a black tile roof with, um, he's got a bit of solar on there. That's nice. That will probably, see, they've got the windows facing into the west there. Anyway, so it's just an absolute absence of climate sensitive design considerations in these towns. And, it, and there's nothing extraordinary or unusual about this place. They're all like this, everywhere. But this place I'm going to show you in a minute, it's just, it's just crackerjack, mate. You're going to like this. It's a, yeah. Uh, it's a classic. It's a classic. It's a classic example of how not to have a civilization, um, or to how how to have a civilization that fucking collapses in two hundred years after it discovers how to industrialize, <laughs> which is kind of what's happening here. Anyway, I hope nobody's home, so I don't embarrass anybody. But basically, check this shit out. All right. I don't know if you can see that. That's fucking plastic glass. It's plastic grass. It's fucking plastic grass. And this is a place with a black roof and plastic grass. <laughs> we are so fucked. We are so fucked. Anyway, <laughs> you just had to see that. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even need to water that one. Now, that's a good point. See, this place is drought stricken. So you can see the logic of having plastic grass in a place that's drought stricken. Now, I don't know whether water would seep through if you had rainwater assuming you had rainwater which you don't right because we're in drought and it looks like we might be in drought for another 12 months in which case this dam and this town is fucked because their main dam's down to 20 percent um look look at this more more of these black roofs look and those big windows exposed to the western sun letting all that heat in letting all that heat in in the afternoon uh look at that motherfucking black roof jesus at least it's got some shades around the windows that one there's another one with big windows open to the west. No solar film in sight. Solar film's really good. That basically rejects the sunlight coming in. Look at this fucking thing. Jesus Christ almighty. Um, anyway, 
oh, okay, let's continue the rave about the plastic grass. So plastic grass is actually kind of sensible in a way in a place that's in drought. Now here's the question, if you do get a bit of rain, raining on your plastic grass, does the rainwater penetrate through the plastic grass and into the ground underneath, in which case you get that benefit of absorbing water into the ground? Or is the plastic grass, the, the base, base of it, waterproof, so it basically just slides off? Okay, so what's the big drama with plastic grass? It looks nice, yes, there is an aesthetic, there is an aesthetic, there is something about a nice lawn that does, I think, trigger an aesthetic response. I like to see a nice lawn. Nice lawns are nice, after all. Okay, so yeah, it's got that, and from a distance you can't really tell, although plastic grass is always extremely mo monotonous in its colour. It's always perfectly coloured, you don't see that, you don't see in that sort of normal, that sort of speckling that you get with real grass, so you can sort of spot it quite easily. So it looks, it looks plastic, you know? But, and, and I dare say, it's got to be, it's got to be UV stabilised material. It can't be, it can't just be normal plastic, otherwise it will simply perish in the space of a year in this, in these conditions. So it's got to be UV stabilised. And it's obviously, you know, it's got the right colouring, so it's dyed. So it's probably like some sort of a, it's, maybe it's high density polyethylene or, or maybe it's, I don't know what sort of plastic it is, right? But it's going to be doped with a bunch of shit in order to give it the properties, the colour properties, the wear properties, the subtleness properties. It's probably full of phthalates. That's one of the materials that they use in plastics to soften the plastics. Otherwise, some plastics will get brittle. But if you've got phthalates in them, then it makes them softer because you you don't want to have brittle plastic grass. You want to have plastic grass that if you walk on it, it deforms and then pops back up again. So, you know, but over time, you know, that stuff is going to get degraded anyway. It's simply going to get people walking. It's going to perish. How long does a plastic grass lawn actually last, right? Does it come with a warranty? Okay, and so what happens is when each of those little blades of grass, of which there are many hundreds of thousands, break away, full of their fucking contaminants, their flame retardants, they might have flame retardants, that's a big thing you get in plastics, which causes a lot of problems. And so that's going to basically sit in the gutter. Now, you don't get a lot of rain in this town, so maybe that's not such an issue, because it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, but when it does rain, assuming it ever does rain again in Tamworth, uh, that's going to go into the frickin' creek. You know, we can't be putting... We've got to stop using plastic grass. We've got to let it go. I mean... Let's say let's say that they they say that they didn't want to put a regular lawn in because there are water restrictions. That's fair enough. They could have they could have just left it dirt, or they could have put some of these like succulents or some sort of plant that really you know, is really hardy and doesn't really need a lot of water. Or they could have put a little tiny bit of or they could collect rainwater or they could collect grey water and have a little irrigation. Anything but fucking plastic grass. Oh, maybe I'm just getting OCD about plastic grass. I don't know. I mean, there's plenty of other things to get worried about, that's for sure. Like carbon emissions, for example. <laughs> that's a biggie. <laughs> maybe plastic grass is actually way, way down the list, and I'm just... Maybe I'm just, like, a bit weird. You know, maybe I should just fucking let it go. Maybe I should just stop thinking about plastic grass for a while. What do you reckon? Put some comments in. For what it's Tamworth. 